es una enfermedad que se transmite de animales a humanos. Se inició en el mercado de mariscos de Wuhan, pero se desconoce qué animal lo transmitió y si mutó antes de pasar al humano. Sobre todo por las secreciones de personas infectadas que contaminan las manos u otras superficies y que entran en contacto con la mucosa de la boca, nariz u ojos de otras personas. También por algunos procedimientos médicos invasivos del tracto respiratorio o las heces de la persona contagiada. De 5 a 10 días, aunque pueden ser más, por eso la cuarentena son 14. Apenas les afecta, la mayoría no ha tenido síntomas o han sido leves. Podría debilitarse por la llegada de la primavera, más horas de sol y temperaturas más altas. Stories on ABC News, the Prime Minister Scott Morrison has announced updated social distancing advice to slow the spread of the coronavirus after today's national cabinet meeting. For gatherings of fewer than 100 people in an enclosed space, the government is now recommending four square metres per person. The federal budget will not be handed down until October because of the pandemic. The states will also delay their budgets. It comes as the big banks announce they'll defer loan repayments to small businesses for up to six months because of the economic damage caused by the virus. Overseas, Australians are scrambling to return home as airlines drastically reduce services and authorities here prepare to close the borders. From 9 o'clock Eastern time this evening, international travellers will be unable to enter Australia in a bid to control the spread of the coronavirus. The Australian citizens and residents are excluded from the new rules. And NAPLAN exams will be cancelled this year because of widespread disruption to schools caused by the coronavirus. Education ministers met via video link this morning to decide whether to cancel or postpone the test, which is set by years 3, 5, 7 and 9. Some modelling suggests the test would occur just as community transmission of the virus begins to peak. African countries are taking emergency measures to stem the spread of the coronavirus as the number of identified cases grows. In West Africa, Ivory Coast said it was closing its borders for 15 days to all non-citizens traveling from countries where more than 100 cases have been recorded. The move came after Senegal, which recorded its 27th case on Monday, suspended flights from seven European and North African countries. Ghana on Monday closed schools and banned public gatherings, as well as barring entry to non-citizens who have, within the last 14 days, been to a country that has recorded 200 or more cases. In Central Africa, Chad said it would close its airports to all countries for two weeks from midnight on Thursday, though it has yet to record a coronavirus case. In East Africa, where Tanzania and Somalia registered their first COVID-19 cases on Monday, Rwanda, Kenya and Uganda have either shuttered borders, closed schools or prohibited large public gatherings. President Cyril Ramaphosa said on Sunday that South Africa would from Wednesday close its borders to all foreigners from countries highly impacted by the pandemic. And in North Africa, while Algeria announced the suspension of all air and sea travel to and from Europe from March 19th, Egypt said it will close schools and universities for two weeks. Chandigarh mein corona ki marizo ki sankhya char hui. UK se lauti ladki ki maa, bhai aur naukar ka test bhi positive aya. Pita aur driver ka test negative aya. सभी सेक्टर 32 के अस्पताल में भर्ती किए गए आइसोलेशन में रखा गया है तो ब्रिटेन से ये 23 वर्षीय लड़की लौटी थी उसके बाद अपनी मां और नौकर के संपर्क में वो आई होगी डोमेस्टिक हेल्प मैं कहूंगी और अब जब टेस्ट किया गया इस लड़की का पॉजिटिव आने के बाद तो मां में और डोमेस्टिक हेल्प दोनों में ही ये पॉजिटिव पाया गया संक्रमण हालांकि जो पिता और ड्राइवर है उनमें अभी ये संक्रमण पॉजिटिव नहीं पाया गया है लेकिन हाँ उनको भी आइसोलेशन में जरूर रखा गया होगा जगविंदर पटियाल मेरे साथ जुड़ रहे हैं जगविंदर पटियाल चाहे हम बॉलीवुड में गायिका कनिका कपूर की बात करें इतना गैर जिम्मेदाराना व्यवहार जब आप विदेश से लौटे हैं और आप ये जानते हैं कि वहां पर ये संक्रमण किस कदर फैल रहा है तो इस तरह आकर लोगों से मिलना जुलना आप खतरे को खुद आमंत्रण दे रहे हैं Pero este virus, ¿dónde se originó? De acuerdo con la 
La Organización Mundial de la Salud surgió de un mercado de mariscos en Wuhan, en China, que también vende animales vivos como aves del corral, murciélagos y marmotas. Eso provocó preocupación de que el patógeno respiratorio haya surgido de alguna de esas especies. El mercado se cerró desde el primero de enero. El aeropuerto internacional de Wuhan atiende a una población de 19 millones de personas, pero solo 3.400 al día toman vuelos internacionales. El gobierno de China dijo que el virus estará bajo control. Social distancing in many parts of Zimbabwe isn't easy. Victor Chakanyuka, like most Zimbabweans, has a casual job. But selling on the street, he's afraid of catching coronavirus. Public wash basins are being placed around the city, but cuts in the council's water supply means the taps run dry for hours, sometimes days. Uh, our country can't manage to cope, out, to cope uh, with this pandemic disease. Uh, maybe some maybe uh, external countries might come in here. Health officials say they are ready to minimize the impact of coronavirus should there be an outbreak. Wilkins Hospital is one health quarantine center in the capital where suspected cases are tested, but it only has a few dozen beds. The collapsing economy is adding to the problems of the struggling public health care sector. Launching the National Preparedness Response Plan on Thursday, President Emerson Mnangagwa said Zimbabwe has other health challenges to deal with. With our HIV prevalence of 14% in Zimbabwe, is slightly below, and malnutrition and other non-communicable diseases, especially among children, we are deeply concerned about the impact COVID-19 could have in Zimbabwe. Zimbabweans have some experience dealing with disease outbreaks. More than 4,000 people died from cholera in 2008. Measures were put in place to contain that outbreak, but the threat of coronavirus has forced the government to take action and implement more drastic measures, which include banning public gatherings of more than 100 people. The ban on public gatherings affects church services, weddings and sporting events for two months. While there is no travel ban, people from countries with confirmed cases of coronavirus are being discouraged from coming to Zimbabwe. Zimbabweans are being advised against traveling abroad until the pandemic is under control. Mandatory screening has been intensified at all ports of entry. The government says screening will soon be introduced at all its offices. But with the worst economic crisis in a decade, many public hospitals are understaffed and lack basic equipment and medicine. Some Zimbabweans worry about the lack of resources to deal with coronavirus if it spreads. But government leaders say they are ready and on high alert. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Hara. Corona, at the end of the day, I'm not going to want to stop me from partying. We've been waiting for Miami spring break for a while. About two months we've had this trip planned. Like it's really messing up with my spring break. This virus ain't that serious. It's serious. It's more serious things out there like hunger and poverty. We need to address that. I think they're blowing it way out of proportion. We hear every night of people who are not in work moving that time into bars and other areas of large gatherings. If we continue with that process, we will fail in containing this virus. I have friends that work at hospitals and they're kind of telling me and I'm like, oof, like it's just getting bad. Probably was like, probably should have stayed home. They were feeling totally invincible or are feeling that way, but they don't realize that they can be carrying lots of bad things home to their grandmother and grandfather and even their parents. U Mariboru pa sedaj pozdravljam Katjo Trer. Pozdravli nam, kako ste v Mariboru pripravljeni na prebavec zbiranja v javnosti in na nadzor? 
Pozdravljeni, ja tudi Mari Borčani so tako, kot smo se lahko prepričali, to jutro odlok očitno sprejeli resno. Če bi bil popolnoma običajen, pomladni dan bi namreč na tej priljubljeni sprehajalni poti ob dravi lahko srečali številne sprehajalce, rekreativce in pomlade, ki bi hiteli v bližne šole in na fakultete. Tako pa je naše mesto danes mirno, tudi vrste pred bankami, lekarnami in trgovinami, ki smo bili vajeni v minuli dneh so precej krajše, na bližni tržnici, ki danes še deluje, pa prav tako ni gneče. Sicer pa odlok vlad Vlade pozdravlja tudi Mariborski župan Saša Arsenovič, ki meni, da je odlog nujno potreben za zajezitev virusa, ob enem pa Mariborčane tudi opozarja, da bo vlada, če bo potrebno, oziroma Mariborska občina, sprejela še hujše in še bolj stroge ukrepe. Sicer pa so tudi imamo nekaj dobrih novic. Mariborski župan je namreč pozval med sebojni pomoči in tako so se temu že odzvale tudi Mariborske lekarne, ki bodo prav od dane znižale ceno lekadola. Župan ob tem sicer opozarja, da to ni namenjeno k upičenju zelog, temveč predvsem temu, da bi bil lekodol sedaj dostopen pravsem tudi tistim socialno šipkejšim. Že včeraj pa je Saša Arsenovič tudi pisal vladi in sicer jo je pozval k izdatnejši finančni pomoči gospodarstvu, meni namreč, da bi samo 40 odstotkov, koliko je sedaj vlada namenila delavcem na čakanju, lahko podjetja v prihodnosti prisivilo kot puščanju, likvidaciji in celo stečajem. Tako da toliko za enkrat iz Maribora. Hvala obema. This is for everybody, and we do have the legal authorities to enforce it. I'm um, calling on people's civic duty right now to do this. And it is in your best interest to take these measures as well. If you're somebody who's working in the community and you think it's okay to, to have a group of people on in your business, um, it can affect you and your family and your business as well if this is introduced into your community. So um, do what we need to do. It's incredibly important right now that everybody take these measures. And if you cannot do it in your business, then you need to shut it down for now. And there's support that will be there for you. But this is a, the measures we need to take now for all of us. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not optional, and we will be watching it, we'll be monitoring it. The things that we are doing today are going to save us in the next two weeks. So please, um, you know, as I said before, this is our time. We need to be kind, we need to be calm, and we need to be safe.在社保上面因为有很好的优惠政策所以说每个月至少能省下大概五十万以上结束风声的小恒水饺开始向心灵受发力无人车送餐甚至尝试直播带货各门店的销量也开始攀升整体销售逐渐好转经历了这场生存保
为打好脱贫攻坚这场硬仗，河南不断抓实工作细节。南阳市绿化村村民李金霞去年刚刚脱贫，受疫情影响，他现在没办法外出务工。县里根据省上提出的优先组织输出就业、优先本地吸纳就业等方针，组织起藤编扶贫产业专班，来为贫困户增加工资性收入。一天能编个二十多个，挣个六七十块钱。李家金能照顾孩子，也方便。如今，镇平县一百二十六个各类扶贫车间和五十八个扶贫基地正开足马力加紧生产，确保群众有事做、有钱赚。脱贫攻坚战打响以来，河南已累计实现六百五十一点一万农村贫困人口脱贫，贫困发生率由二零一三年底的百分之八点七九下降到二零一九年底的百分之零点四一。Production is still running smoothly at EBM Pabst in southern Germany. One of the world's leading producers of fans and electric motors, it supplies companies around the world and sources many of its components from China. That's why it's formed a task force, which meets several times a week to monitor Chinese production and supply chains. Pabst said, "There's been no bottleneck so far." We give risk management high priority. We don't put all our eggs in one basket. If one topples over, there'll be another one somewhere that takes its place. Alternative suppliers are decisive now. Still, the company can't do entirely without China. But ports in China are clogged up. Air freight is available, but it's expensive. The unpleasant side effect is that costs are exploding. Where we used to pay one euro a kilo base rate, now we've reached ten to twenty euros a kilo. Higher costs, more effort. EBM Pops storage facilities are full, and they're set to grow. The company is stocking up on supplies to cover a 12-week period. Besides China, Italy is now under scrutiny. We're in talks with our suppliers, and we're bringing their advanced production here. That way, we can secure supplies for our plants in Germany. Safety also tops the agenda in Germany, with employees undergoing a cultural shift. When we greet each other, we don't shake hands anymore. Truck drivers on the Italy run are given protective clothing. The fears are not unreasonable. Germany's Electrical Industry Association is gauging the costs of the coronavirus to the sector in China alone. In that respect, we're looking at deliveries under threat right now, worth half a billion to a billion in advance payments. The coronavirus has been testing the economy for over a month, highlighting how vulnerable supply chains have become. Mid to long-term shocks like that offer us a chance to ask if we shouldn't reposition our value-added chains and production lines more locally. But we don't want knee-jerk reactions. They could threaten the enormous gains in efficiency we've been able to make in the past. One thing is certain at fanmaker EBM Pabst and many other German companies: the coronavirus will weigh on the bottom line. Just how heavily is still not clear. We are on our 17th days of quarantine now, so、uh, it's a bit long, yes. And I have what I call a second wave of symptoms for me now, so I'm extra careful. And we we stay home. We try to be extra careful for everybody.、Yeah. And the region in which you're living in, in France, has actually got quite a high number of cases. What's that been like, particularly for your friends and family? Yeah, that's、uh, that's something very important.、Uh, we have a lot of friends in my church where the, the spreading、uh, was so strong、uh, that went to the hospital.、Uh, some of my family members and some members of the church are even now uh, in uh, in life support, and that's very sad. But some of、uh, some friends, old friends, are now、uh, gone because of that virus.、Yeah. I wonder how you're feeling. If you could just tell us a bit about that, because I remember when we spoke before, you said, you know, it's going to be my children that tire me out more than the virus will. Has that proved to be the case? How are they doing? 
Oh, my kids are very, very well. And as I said, I can confirm it today. Yes, they are exhausting me much more than the virus. Even if I'm, I'm a bit uh, more sick today than I was then, but I feel very good and confident. Uh, mostly I'm sad and I'm thinking about all those people that are much more, uh, much, much, much worse than me here. Yeah. We've got more difficult symptoms. Uh, for your case though, it probably will be more similar to the majority of people who get this. Yeah. Just give people advice. What's kept you going? What activities have you been doing from home? How are you connecting and having social connectedness with people? Just give us some tips. Yeah, um, what is uh, very important for us is to, uh, to communicate with the people that are not with us. Uh, we got some applications on the phone and we, uh, we chat a lot uh, with my family, with my friends. I'm working again, even if I cannot see my patients here because I'm, I'm still coughing a lot now, so I cannot see them, but uh, I work on my computer and I see them video so uh, I think mainly what is uh, very important is to try to keep as much as it's possible a normal life uh, like you do your routine but you do it inside of the house and uh, I think that's very helpful here yeah, to try to stay normal here. Yeah. So what's interesting is that you're able to work so you obviously feel well enough to do so what does this look like in terms of the next few days, if not weeks? So this is day 17. When do you anticipate there being a little bit more of normality? Yeah, normality is hard to, to, to say in these days. Uh, but for us, what will be important is if, if we can just go for a walk in the fields and try to just to, to take the sun. Uh, I think for my patients and for my family, what I try to express is uh, it's very important to, uh, when you can, when you're able to, to try to spend a little time outside uh, in the sun, in the fresh air. And uh, for the kids, it's important to, get, uh, to have a rhythm, uh, to try to uh, put them in bed, not to, to, to late, to, put them, uh, to give them their homeworks and to try to have a schedule so uh, they, can, they can have a rhythm and they can live a normal life like at school but trying to do it at, at home, yeah. So rhythm is important, yeah. We're at the very start of this crisis. We've taken exceptional measures to counter this first wave. It's a race against time to fight the virus. And even though it's still the start, we must remain ready to make any necessary changes. We must be ready to react to any new incidents and unforeseen events that may occur. Thank you. 